Black holes explained simply. A black hole is formed when a sufficiently large star runs out of fuel and then collapses under its own gravity into a single point containing all of its mass. This point is called a gravitational singularity, and the mathematics we use to explain the physical world around us, namely Einstein's theory of relativity and quantum mechanics, both break down at this point, and so we do not know what happens at the singularity. General relativity describes a space-time continuum as the fabric of the cosmos. Space-time incorporates the three dimensions of space, up and down, left and right, and back and forth, and the fourth dimension of time. Matter and energy can warp space-time, and this gives rise to the phenomena of gravity. There are three other fundamental forces in the universe, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. And it is quantum mechanics that successfully describes how these forces work, as well as how elementary particles behave. Both general relativity and quantum mechanics fail us when it comes to describing what happens at the gravitational singularity of a black hole. The gravity of a black hole is so powerful that nothing can escape it, not even light. The boundary around a black hole beyond which no light or other radiation can escape is known as the event horizon. Before we go any further, I want to take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. London City Girl is a channel dedicated to education and learning, and partnering up with Skillshare has been a great experience. I actually signed up for my own free trial and I love it. I've completed a course on the fundamentals of DSLR photography, as that's definitely a weak point in my skill set, and I already see an improvement in the photos that I take as a direct result of taking this course. Sign up for a two-month free trial via the link in the description below, and try out Skillshare for yourself. Now back to black holes. A black hole is essentially an invisible star that moves through space. Black holes also come in different sizes. Stellar black holes are formed when the collapsed core of the star is at least about three times the mass of our sun. Black holes can grow by taking in more matter and merging with other black holes. Supermassive black holes are found in the center of galaxies. The supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy is an impressive 4.3 million times the sun's mass. It's a myth that black holes suck up everything in its vicinity like a destructive cosmic vacuum cleaner. If the sun were somehow compressed enough to become a theoretical black hole, the Earth would continue to orbit around it in the same way, although the planet itself would freeze without the heat and the light from the sun. Once an object crosses the event horizon, its only possible future is to go to the center of the black hole. So what happens if you fall into a black hole? If you fall toward a stellar black hole, say 10 times the size of the sun, then the force of gravity on your feet would be millions of times the force of gravity on your head, and the result would be that you would be ripped apart to become a stream of matter. This process is known as spaghettification. If you fall toward and into a supermassive black hole, the difference in the gravitational force between your feet and your head would not be as pronounced, and you would remain intact for longer. However, there is also the theory that at or in the vicinity of the event horizon is a massive firewall which will incinerate you as soon as you encounter it. For an outside observer, they would never actually see you cross the event horizon into the black hole. Einstein's theory of relativity describes time as being relative. It is not the same for everyone. Incredible though it sounds, time passes slower in a stronger gravitational field relative to a weaker gravitational field. So when you are at the event horizon, an observer from a distance will actually never see you cross the event horizon as your time will appear to stop altogether. To them, you will remain at the event horizon forever. For you, time would flow normally and you'd just fall in. For the observer, you would also get redder and redder and dimmer and dimmer until you effectively disappeared. The red shifting comes from the light you emit having to expend energy to escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. As particles of light must always travel at the speed of light, this energy must be lost through a change of frequency rather than a change in speed. If the energy of the photon decreases, the frequency also decreases. This corresponds to an increase in the wavelength of the photon or a shift to the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. You will become invisible to the observer when your light becomes infinitely redshifted at the event horizon. For you, as you approach the event horizon, you'd conversely see the universe speed up and at the event horizon, all of time would pass in an instant. Black holes will eventually evaporate through Hawking radiation, so called after Stephen Hawking who predicted it. 
Quantum fluctuations in empty space result in the creation of virtual particles. Virtual particles are particle and antiparticle pairs that are created out of nothing and disappear back into nothingness. At the event horizon, one of the particles will be snatched up by the black hole, while the other will radiate away. The escape of one of the particles lowers the mass of the black hole, and given enough time, the black hole will radiate away its mass and vanish. And that, in a nutshell, is black holes explained simply. Hey guys, just before I ended this video, I wanted to jump on here and thank Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I've been doing London City Girl for a long time now and I'm really protective about the channel and who I work with. So it's been a great opportunity to partner with a brand that's such a natural and organic fit for the channel. If you'd like to support me and my channel, and if you'd like to learn a whole host of new skills, then make sure to sign up to the absolutely free two month trial of Skillshare via the link in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!